Hey guys, uh, Christopher here, and welcome to part two of uh, my Pixel Edit uh, tutorial series. Uh, in this one, we'll be covering uh, the tiling system that is available here. Uh, it's something that's been done in some Pixel Art programs in the in the past. Um, it's invaluable if you are working with uh, a tile-based game. Uh, something like uh, Zelda comes to mind as well, and then... Um, any 2D sort of side-scrolling games as well, that some of them use uh, a 2D uh, tiling system as well to build the levels. Um, so it's a fantastic way to sort of look at what your level looks like from a concept point of view. You can do up some concepts with um, your tiles. Uh, you can organize your tiles so that when you finally do put them in your game, it's a lot easier. And it's just a really good solution to sort of working with a tile-based game and you can see how everything looks within just Pixel Edit rather than swapping back and forth between your engine and your pixel editing program. Okay, it's also the uh, the first step towards learning animation as well because the animation uh, segment uses the tiling system as well. It just uses them in a different way. So by learning this tiling system, you're gonna be one step closer to animation. Okay, so let's go up to file and let's go new. And then this time we're gonna choose tile document or animation. Uh, for this one, I'm just gonna do, I might do, four tiles wide by three tiles high and each tile is going to be 16 pixels by 16 pixels just to keep things simple we'll go create okay and I'll expand that out to the full size and zoom out a little bit and now you can see I've got a canvas of 12 squares and now at the moment this will just function like a normal canvas because I haven't activated any of the tiling functions so uh, if you hit tab you'll notice that all these blocks appear in the corner. Now these will be replaced by numbers as they become linked to tiles. So at the moment, none of these boxes, which, which are tiles, are linked to any tile number. They're just unlinked at the moment. So if you look in the tiling box here, this gives a list of all your currently available tiles. At the moment, there's only one, and that tile is blank. So if I select that tile and I start painting it in here, all it does is change this number up in the top hand corner to a zero. This tile doesn't have anything in it, so effectively it's acting as an eraser. So if I did draw something in one of these here, and then go back and select this, once I press on that, it's going to replace it with the contents of what I've got selected here, which means erase it. So I'm just going to go through and replace all these with a zero. And now this means that all these tiles are this tile. So if I hit D and I paint, they're all linked now, so they're all going to come up with the same thing. Now this is fantastic because this means that you can start to build your tile and you can straight away see how it starts to link and how it's whether or not it has seams. So let's actually build a tile. Uh, go in here, uh, select a green, and then we'll fill that in. Zoom in a bit. Okay, so. Go to my next color and take advantage of this shading tool up here and select that. And it doesn't matter which tile you're working, obviously, because they're all the same. Okay, your goal when you build a tile, a good tile anyway, is that you should aim to overlap as often as you can because these lines are what the, are called the seams and so the more you overlap the more it starts to become hidden so if you just work with it for a bit I should get this going Let's fill that out just swap them back and forth between the colors until I get what I'm happy with Okay, so move that across. Always check up here. Obviously, this uh, shows what your tiling looks like from a greater height. And I'm just going to go OK and move across to the next shade up. Move that out of the way. OK, swap back to my pencil tool. And just put some highlights in here. Mm. 
Okay, so you can start to see up here it's looking even a little bit better. Click on that, go next shade up. Okay, and for this one, just a little bit here and there. Okay, I'm actually going to go back to this one and I'm going to go a shade darker and just fill in some of these recesses so it's not such a plain green. A bit more broken up. Obviously it's up to you what sort of tiling look you're going for. This is obviously just a little bit on the messier side. Sometimes they're very clean. I mean Zelda, for instance, some of the 2D Zeldas, uh, they actually have nothing in here. They just have uh, little blades of grass and then the rest of it is just the same plain green. It ends up with a very clean look so you know you might want to go for that option if it suits you. But for now I'm, I'm happy with that. Like I'm happy with the way it tiles. You can see up here you, you can see that it repeats, but it doesn't look like a bunch of squares, and that's what you're aiming for. Um, if you wanted to, you could go through and make variations. I'm going to save that from this video because I'm trying to keep it short and keep it to the point, but I will move along. Now, you can see that I've got just one tile here. Now, if I make a new one, I can go here and select this blank tile, and again, what I said, this acts as an eraser, so I can go through here, you might think I've lost my work, but I haven't because this is now tile number one. That's tile number zero. This is tile number one. I've just filled it with blanks. So if I select this one again, I can go through and just fill it straight back in. Okay, so let's actually put this one here and uh, we'll actually pull it back in, go here and This is number one. Okay. Ooh, let's do that one. So say I want to do a, uh, a dirt patch. Let's do a dirt patch. So we'll uh, fill this in here. Go to D tool. And we're just going to come in here. Fill this in here. Uh, you can also do something called... Uh, Tile mask. So if I hit tile mask, uh, when you, whatever tile you start painting in, you can't go outside of it, which is really cool if you don't want to mess up your other tiles. So you can just start working within just this one. Just make sure that your clicks always start within here and you are all good to go. Okay, and then I'll sample the next color along. Put some of that in there. Just very quickly getting this done. Okay, so let's move back to the brown. Go here, same sort of technique. Next shade long. Okay, I might make these a little bit smaller. Sort of separate them from what's grass a little bit more, pattern-wise. Okay, and now I'll go here. Go the next step along, okay. Do the same sort of thing here. Okay, I'm actually just going to go one darker there and do the same thing. When I do tiles, I always like to put shadows to where dirt meets grass because grass casts shadows over dirt because it's higher. So this is a good way to get a little bit of depth to your image, you can see in there uh, that it looks like this is a little bit more receded. Okay, fill some of this in here. Get some depth to it. Go back to that one. And a shade lighter. Okay, so we've got a dirt patch there. So, um, could go on and make rocks, uh, could go on to do a lot of things with this. So um, let's make, yeah, let's make one more. Um, and let's go in here. And we're going to go to this one, is two. And then one, two, three, four we need. Okay, then that one's three. 
one's four and that one's five. Okay, so what I'm doing uh, is I'll create a way where I go here. I'll turn off this so I can work a bit faster. And now I'm creating a way where I can create corners and then move into a dirt area if I wanted to so I can make whatever shape dirt areas I want. Oops, that's the wrong one. Obviously moving along pretty quick here. Just trying to get everything done in time. So this tutorial series just doesn't drag on. Okay. Okay, so that'll do. Uh, go in here. Fill tool, fill, fill, fill. Okay, you can see it's starting to take shape. Uh, I'm gonna use my selection tool and cheat a little bit. Go in here and then hold down Option and Command and I can duplicate. Go here, here, here. And here. Okay, so this is a very quick way of creating uh, larger dirt patches. Okay, and you can see that's starting to work there. So if I zoom out, I can see I've got two options there. Uh, now what you would want to do, if you want to continue on with this, is you would create uh, one in the middle there so that you can create one that's just complete dirt if it was surrounded by dirt. Uh, obviously, as you begin to move on, um, you're going to create more and more tiles. Uh, depends how many, many you want, like how varied your game needs to be. So um, that's how many you'll create. Um, I think that's about it for the tiling system. That'll get you around the basics of it. Um, I think I'll quickly show you. I'll show you that you can go File, Export, and you can go Export Image. Okay, now this is pretty standard. And you just go uh, Save. And if I go into... Pixel edit, title PNG. Okay, so you can see that that's my, uh, that's the image that I've been working on. Now next, if we go here and we go file and we go export, we go export tile set. Um, this is probably not organized the best. So let's go uh, width of four. Now let's go width of two. Okay, now you can see you can start to sort of organize things a bit better. So I've got a grass tile and I've got uh, a dirt tile that's a single dirt tile and then I've got this four one that I've built as well. Um, and that's sort of the beginning of a tile set. I would definitely make more if I was making this for an actual game. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to go file, export, export tile set. And just go save and just overwrite what I've got there. And then I go here, and you can see that it's now the tile set organized nicely for you if you're going to use this in your game engine. Okay, so that about concludes the, um, the tile set stuff. I'll see you in part three for animation.